A successful trial was run on the eastern dedicated freight corridor. Uh, a freight train attained a speed of 100 kilometers per hour on the Baupur Kurja section. Uh, an eastern and western uh, corridor is being developed under, under the DFC project. The project plans to optimize the flow of cargo between parts of the country. The project's cost is about 81,459 crores. Uh, Ashish, uh, Again, this is a, you know, we're seeing a massive infrastructure push, uh, you know, so much so that we bring it up almost every weekly that we're doing, right? Yeah, I think it's a good thing to talk about something new every week, actually, that yeah. shows the progress. Uh, the DFC concept was uh, originated in April 2005, uh, when India and Japan agreed to do a, a Japan-funded project on, on, the, on improving the rail freight in India. Uh, the idea was to have two corridors, uh, uh, about 1,800 kilometers on the eastern side uh, from Ludhiana to Dunkoni in uh, West Bengal and from Dadri to JNPT on the on the western side, which is about 1,500 kilometers. Uh, these corridors could handle, you know, like uh, the the uh, 32.5 ton ax axle uh, 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 load, which is the standard in the world. Uh, Indian load uh, is currently 22.5 ton axle, so it's on the lower side. And uh, also run timetabled freight trains, which, which, which doesn't happen in India. So the eastern one, uh, which extends from Rudhiana all the way to uh, West Bengal, uh, it has got several sections. Uh, it's got uh, six different sections, actually. Uh, one of which, which is Khurja to Bhavapur near Kanpur. That, is, uh, that was completed earlier this year in March by Tata Projects and uh, Aldia, uh, Aldesa Group. And uh, this is now being dedicated to the nation uh, this week. Uh, which is about 351 kilometers. Just this uh, section itself is quite interesting because it will uh, uh, it will kind of ease the traffic flow in the UP uh, section, which is one of the busiest in the country in terms of the rail traffic. So just having a DFC, uh, even in even in between these two towns itself, will help improve railways' its uh, operational efficiency, both on the passenger side, also on the uh, also on the freight uh, side. And um, I mean, a lot of work has gone into this uh, area. Uh, uh, Alstom has done the systems work mostly. Uh, Alstom seems to be doing pretty good on making India initiatives on the railway side, both on, uh, I mean, the metro side also, and also on the conventional railways. And uh, the there are other, uh, I think the thing to note is that India has also approved four other DFCs in Jan 2018, which is the East-West uh, corridor between Calcutta and Mumbai, North-South between Delhi and Chennai, uh, East Coast dedicated corridor between Kharagpur and Vijayawada, and finally the Southwest corridor between Chennai and Goa. So I hope that once we get past uh, DFC, I mean the Eastern and Western DFC by let's say end of 2022, uh, we should also be able to expedite these other four corridors.